go to the mountains, tall and low. Here we are tonight, and you just never know what's going to happen, and every, every week's different. So if you like music, and you want to come out and check out the local scene, you don't really know where to start, this is a perfect place, because not only is it accessible, but you can come and check out the calendar. We put, we kind of all get our phones out and say, hey, what were you invited to? Oh, let's put it up. All right, hey, what's going on in Dallas? This is a cool show that we're into. Hey, so we got some homies that are opening for a big band. We're going to put that on there. So you can see all those things here at, uh, the, the, at the, the store, or you can go online to our, our uh, social medias. We do a lot of weird, cool videos. Chandler's a, the, a, the star over there. I don't know if you've seen him. We call him Baby Burns, but he's kind of becoming the uh, mini Cosmo Kramer of our, of our existences. So thank you for filming. Thank you, everybody in the online world, for your support. Go ahead and like us right now, right here at the bottom of the screen. If you call now, call, zoom, 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 call, no, I'm just kidding, zoom, 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 call, 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 call the number, call, call now, call now. Okay, he'll go back and edit all these into something really cool, so we kind of do a little glitchy thing every once in a while. If you like uh, local music, if you like art, if you like these things, please continue to support them, all right? That's, that's really what it comes down to. That's why I'm here. I want to support that scene, that thing, the, that movement, which is the arts. Because without it, really, what is humanity? Really, without it? I mean, every, every culture that's been on this earth has had art and has had some kind of music or some kind of culture to it. And so um, thank you for supporting that. Feel good inside, warm and fuzzy inside. And you can do it monetarily as well by donating in the tip jar back here. All that money goes to the, the talent tonight. So thank you so much. Um, yeah, we're in for a special one. Hold on, I'm just getting a call. Yes. Oh my gosh, guys, it's the president. Hello, yes. He got my letters. I've been sending like a letter every day. Yes. Yes, Mr. President. Oh my God. Okay, okay, cool. All right. All right, I'll tell him. All right, he wanted to say hi. He wanted to come here tonight. He was he was doing a thing in Dallas. It was a brief kind of boop boop boop. He uh, he told me that he told me that aliens will come and visit me uh, on his behalf. He told them. He said, "Hey, I sent a letter out to the aliens," and I was like, "I didn't really tell him. I didn't I didn't have time to ask him which race of aliens, but." I'm really excited about that possibility that the president told me that. Anyway, that's kind of cool I got that call while we were here. Um, thanks for being part of that. That was really cool. Woo. How often does the president call you? Oh, by the way, it wasn't the president of America. It was the president of Osprey Backpacks. Yeah, I've been like really trying to get a free backpack. And uh, he's, uh, he's also part of a, a UFO uh, conspiracy club that I'm part of, too. And so it was like a win-win. I was like, cool, we can talk about backpacks, talk about aliens. <laughs> anyway, who knows what's going to happen here. I try to do this comedy thing, and sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. But and that's a work in progress. It's just like... Just like anything, so um, let me just encourage you again to express yourself and anything it might be, whether whether you, you may you may not have found what your your perfect medium. Some people are like, oh, I can't play music. Well, have you ever played the glockenspiel? Because Come on. <laughs> I mean, you might be the one for you. You might be a pro glockenspiel player, and you're like, uh, I don't even know how it goes. Do you know what it looks like? I don't. <laughs> Is it this okay? Like hammer dulcimer? Okay. Well, see, there's like it, that's what I'm saying. If, if something seems hard, maybe it's just new. You know, it's all about a perspective. And, and you can do anything. That's right. If you call now, you can get any skill. That's right. We will tap you into the matrix of knowledge. So speaking of the matrix of knowledge, have y'all been in that ride at, at Six Flags? It's pretty cool. It's like virtual reality, but actual reality. And it's called living. It's really neat. You should try it. It's this cool ride of life. I don't want it because I drink a lot of caffeine. But recently I just changed my diet to no meat and no sugar, like like sodas, right? And you can too, if you call now. Okay. It, <laughs> sorry, I can't really see it. I see the camera and I'm just like, hello. <laughs> you can have this too. Anyway, for the low price of $29.99 for the rest of your life. Remember that I did that last week? That was cool. The rest of your life. That's right. One easy payment for the rest of your life. Lifetime supplies, isn't that a funny thing? Like, okay, how lifetime supply? Who's keeping track? Is it my life? Is it yours? You know? 
Have you ever entered one of those things like you gotta watch? You must be present. You gotta watch. Like, well, how often am I gonna watch Wheel of Fortune? You know, every night to make sure that I, like, you know, spin ID or you know, how many of these people are still alive that have been applying for these, you know, numbers? Like, oh, I got my number. I bet a lot of people have kind of come and gone, but who's there to keep track of Wheel of Fortune? I don't know. You're gonna ask yourself these questions, folks, as you get older in your life. I'm 32 now. I start to ask myself, like. I'm going to enter this contest. Do you ever hear when they actually have the contest or draw for the car? Whoever wins the car? Do you win? Can, you, can anybody tell me the last Monopoly winner at McDonald's? <laughs> there is no winner. That's right. If you buy my DVD, I will expose all the secrets. That's right, secrets of this world. There's a lot of secrets in the world. Um, some of them, you know. Or see more serious than others, you know? You're like, hey, what's a serious secret? You're like, you know, if you're 10, if you're that kid, you're like, I wiped a booger, you know, on the wall, and nobody saw. <laughs> you know, and like me, I'm like, I evaded my taxes, and I'm about to just kind of change my name and fake my, my death, you know? Those are little secrets that, you know, we all kind of have. <laughs> that you may have some too, skeletons in the closet, if you will. If anybody's an IRS intern or you know an employee here, uh, please just leave. Okay, that'd be great. You can just go, no questions asked. You leave. I won't, you know, physically remove you. I'm just kidding. I don't do anything. I'm a pacifist. I've been a pacifist. I can proudly say of 16 years, I've been involved in a violent altercation, been able to resolve conflicts peacefully. I don't know if you guys are into that. I'm really into it, but. Uh, yeah, it kind of gets weird when you go to, you know, metal shows and everybody's like, <laughs> you'd be like, yes. You'd be surprised that the metal community is very peaceful. Yeah. Um, but I'm not really into that. It just looks like I am because I don't like any other colors to wear. I like to let this be the colorful. Anyway, speaking of colors, do you guys um, do drugs? Because they make colors seem really cool. <laughs> I've never done drugs, believe it or not. Um, it's really weird. You wouldn't think so by looking at me like, look at that guy, he did drugs. No, seriously, if I wear a suit, I look like a drug dealer. <laughs> People are like, there's no reason why that dreadlock guy has a suit on, other than the fact that maybe he's going to court for something, or he's a drug dealer. Ask him. He's like, yeah, man, I got a, I got a whole trunk full of stuff. That's right, I'm dread us dreadlock dudes. Woo, we roll with all kinds of gear for sale. It's like anything you want, glass. You got glass? What do you mean glass? Like for my windows or house? I'm talking about pipes. I'm talking about jewelry. I'm talking about everything. You can have it all. Just call now. Meet me in the parking lot in front of a fish show. No. <laughs> when you look like this, you kind of, you know, you expect these stereotypes and it's okay. I'm, I'm totally open to it. The funniest is though is just people like, I, I never do this, but um, can you help us get some pot? <laughs> You're gonna look over in the car and there's like the most square looking like accountant, like looks like the accountant for Avoca. You're just like, he's a cop. Fuck this. I'm not helping. Sorry. Excuse my language. This is a Fairmount Community Library. Please, once again, this is a library. Please, no cursing. Okay, we're almost underway, folks. That's right. I just got message that the president is sending pizza. Do you know what that means? Boop, 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 That's right. You are a winner. You're a winner. What pizza do you want? We're all getting pizzas. Oprah's coming, and she's going to be like, Everybody gets a pizza! <laughs> you get a pizza! You get a pizza! You get a pizza! If you actually look under your chair, everybody, uh, we are having a drawing to see who actually gets a pizza. Because I was just kidding, but you, somebody here tonight will walk away with a pizza. If you call now, you have a chance to win the pizza in or a piece of the pizza. Please call now. We are all looking to get our piece of the pizza of life, and you can too. If you just call now, right now. The number at the bottom of the screen, not the number in your head that the aliens tell you when you're sleeping because they implanted a chip and you were like, why did, why did my back of my neck hurt? And you saw that episode on season three of X-Files and you're like, whoa, it all makes sense now. Me and Scully have the same symptoms. So anyway, that's a whole nother story. If you want to talk to me about that in the back, a lot of weird conversations go on back there. Don't believe anything you hear. I want you to just come to the conclusions on your own. Okay, I learned that from Mulder. That's, that's for you out in radio land, TV world. Uh, I don't know about you, but I watched a lot of TV. Do you guys watch a lot of TV? It's kind of funny because I don't like TV now. I can like hear it. It, it could be on mute and you're just like, 
kill people. I don't know, do y'all hear that? No. Do y'all hear that? I hear it now. Oh, I, I won't talk about I told myself I wouldn't talk about that in public, but here we are, and I'm just, okay. So, um, I see dead people. No, uh, I'm just kidding. That's been a movie. It's starring uh, Tom Hanks and uh, Nicole Kidman. I believe it's called Days of Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm, I don't know what's going on. Did you watch HBO? Like I stayed up and like would watch the worst movies ever just to hope to see a movie. And you know nowadays people are like, oh my gosh, booby. You know like why is it so bad? I don't think it's bad. We're born with them. You know, boobies aren't boobies shouldn't be bad. Anyway. This is a side note. If you believe in boobies, please call now because we're trying to fund money for the free the booby campaign. I think that's actual thing though. I think people are like in Instagram and all that. Isn't that a thing? Free the nipple. It's so, yeah, the nipple. Thank you. That and and I believe in that because it's like, come on. I mean, we were able. They were like, okay, hey, honey, you can get one of these magazine subscriptions. I don't know if you got. You were able to pick a magazine magazine subscription. My parents were really cool. It was just one year. I think my aunt paid for it. I could get highlights. I could get National Geographic. Or I could get, uh, I forget what it was. It was um, like Sports Illustrated for Kids. Do you remember that? And so I chose that. But then looking back, I was like, oh my God, if you'd have gotten this, if you'd have gotten the National Geographic, there would have been a booby or something at least like once a year from like some tribe somewhere. I don't know. Isn't that weird how you think about these things as an adult? I'm not a perv over here, but like, <laughs> I just like, I don't know. I'm just kind of stream of conscious here, guys. I didn't plan anything that I was going to say, but thank you for laughing anyway. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call it to the stage. Um, the guys, you want to come up here and just kind of yeah. talk about stuff? You guys, the Mountain Natives, are y'all um, from Fort Worth? Is that right? Are y'all, can we say Fort Worth's own? Because I hear the I hear the Mountain Native, and I'm like, maybe they're from the Chisos Mountains. <laughs> is, that, is that right? Are y'all from there? Yeah. Oh, I mean, cool. we're really from Euless. Okay. But, but hey, I don't know about you guys, I just went out to those the mountains. Hey, y'all wanna come in and get a beer? There's stuff back there, make yourself at home. Um, it, it starts to really warm up once the music starts, I promise. Um, and I stop talking, that always kinda makes everybody feel a little bit more comfortable. Like, wow, who's the Tasmanian devil? I didn't know he could talk. I didn't know he knew words. Actually, did you ever watch that show? What a weird show, I mean like, to have the Tasmanian devil have a family and like all have him as a dad and all the problems he would go through, like, no, 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 no. This dude was running around like causing the most mayhem. You think he really went home and was like, blah, 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 blah. And like, it sounds like, blah, 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 blah. like, for the encouragement, like, someday I'm gonna run a book like you, dad, and like totally wreck shop in a bigger way because mom's genes are stronger and I actually gonna be more powerful than you and then take over your bank account and then put you in early retirement. And he's like, baga baga You can, you two can imagine such crazy things if you do drugs. And if you call now, you can do drugs. Speaking of drugs, never did them. Um, okay, for the record, never did drugs, just like Frank Zappa. I'm sorry, Frank, I will never believe that. I will never believe that. You can say it all you want, but you did not get there by just being straight. So anyway, hey, sorry. Okay, so um, tonight's performance, uh, we're going to play uh, some excerpts, some new stuff, some old stuff. How long have you been playing together? Four years. Four five, years. Five years. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, now, hey, hey, talk will you do, the, will you do that you thing? You should talk in the mic. Yeah, will you do that thing mm. where you get everybody in? Thank you. Um, that's Chandler Burns, by the way. He's one of the best volunteers Hi, ever. Really proud of him. Uh, we're we're we we're, hurt, we're hurting everybody in here because uh, mm -hmm. I want them to just uh, really experience what y'all are about. Mm -hmm. um, now, so what's your next big thing that you're excited about? Like, you got an album coming? You already have one? Is it on SoundCloud? Are, Is it on Bandcamp? What's it on? We are currently writing new music for our second album. We have our first album here on record. It's over there if you want to take a look. It's also on iTunes and Spotify. It's Mountain Natives Essential. And you can get it on $10 for iTunes. You can get it at $10 here. We also found a copy in the back of the record store over there, which Whoa. we were freaking out about. We were like, ah, ah, and like all these different emotions flooded in, and we were so excited. <laughs> it's that feeling that you just that you get when you experience local music. That's that's what you can do. You too can experience that you at Dreamy Life Records. $29.99. For $29.99, the secret to life will be yours. 
Actually, it's selling 10. And the t-shirts are? Uh, 25. We've got one for 25. That's the black one. This Mountain Natives. That's actually my favorite. Oh, I wear black, great. too. I know. You're I was like, looking at that one, too. Hey, guys, come on in. Come in. Treehouse Cabaret in the house. And then I also make bracelets. I hand make bracelets, and they're two bucks, and they're really, really cool. I love wearing them. Awesome. Many ways to support, for sure. Check it out. Um, now, so what are we can expect tonight? Is this just, um, is it just the two of y'all? Just, just uh, unplug. Now, do y'all normally do a bigger electronic or like any kind yeah, of like sometimes. like guitars and all that? <laughs> oh, cool. So you don't limit yourself. Yeah, just, just. Don't ever limit. Glockenspiel. Yes. I mean, yeah. that's actually a sound that I'm trying to incorporate into one of my synths. And it's like, hey, I really need some more glockenspiel. Like some songs need more cowbell. More cowbell. That's from the Saturday Night Live skit. Yeah, sorry. Just talking um, about cowbell the other day. Alec like Baldwin's yeah. brother. I don't know who's in it. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, so anyway, um, now the first song you're gonna perform tonight is called. You don't know. You're just, just gonna make it up. Oh, I love it. I love it already. It. This is gonna be great. It's called Bird Like You. So yes, we're gonna wing it. Oh, great. Okay. Now. Um, bird like you, and we're gonna. Wing it. Oh, I just heard it. As long as nobody makes like a tree and leave it, uh, you can take it or leave it. Anyway, there's some tree tree humor. That was good. That was a, it was dad combo, dad joke combo. Cheers to all the dads in the crowd. Thank you for being. Hopefully you're a good dad. Hopefully you're a good dad. Those are good. Not like mine. God, I'm just kidding. No, my dad was great, sweetheart. I had a great upbringing. Okay. Um. So anyway. Now, so next big thing, you don't have any new shows, any next shows coming up, any big? We're playing at 1050 Barbecue. Next Saturday. Next Saturday. Next Saturday Richardson. in Richardson, guys. 1050 Barbecue. That sounds awesome. You're going to get some oh. barbecue. There's a barbecue place. Yeah. Just open. Just open barbecue place. You can go eat and listen to these guys. If you like what you hear tonight, uh, get some of their gear, support them in the tip jar. I'm going to stop talking and let them start performing. But um, ladies and gentlemen, please put your, your hands together and your warm ears for a listen to the Mountain Natives. Thank you so much.
Lord, have mercy, please forgive me. I wanna go where your spirit's leading. Lord, have mercy, down in the starry. I wanna go where your spirit's leading. Lord, have mercy, I know you love me. I wanna go where your spirit's leading. Lord, have mercy, please forgive me. I wanna go where your spirit's Lord, have mercy. I know you love me. I wanna go 